The next problem that you're facing as a creator is using an element in a design and not being able to find similar elements to have a cohesive look in your design. I'm going to show you a couple of easy ways to find graphics right within Canva. One problem that I have with the new glow up is that if I accidentally like move my mouse at all, it goes off of the tab. This is like a huge pain point for me specifically because I accidentally move my mouse all the time. I like go over when I'm trying to be in this thing, I can't keep my mouse situated enough that I accidentally go over to elements or when I'm going down here, I might accidentally go to projects. To solve that pain point, just click it and it will stay out for you and you don't have to worry about that situation. So in this next little bit, there's a couple graphics that I love and we're going to try to find some more of them. We're going to take this right click and there's the info button and it gives me the name of it and then it gives keywords, hand drawn, basic shape, shape, organic, abstract. We can even click show all keywords and we can see more like this and it's going to open up a magic recommendation it should have. Canva, we have a bug. I had a whole thing planned of what I was going to do, but the feature is buggy right now. So I'm going to show you some other things because there's always things that you can come up with that are really simple tricks for creators to use. It's going to help solve their problems. We're going to right click and see info. This could change in the future where info is located. What Canva looks like today for me, it may change tomorrow. If there's a part of the video that you're confused about because the user interface changed for you so much that you aren't comprehending what I'm teaching, leave a timestamp of the part where you're confused and I will try to clarify it for you. We're all really wanting it to be up in the quick action toolbar. For this one, there's see more like this, and there's also view collection. If there is a view collection option, choose that. These are going to look similar so that you could have a similar look for all of your social media designs. What if you want them all in a collection together so that you can pull from them from your design? You have to do this in the elements tab, at least not at this moment. You can't do it while it's in a design. I'm not sure if that's one of the things that they're going to update in the future. Hopefully it is because I'm pretty sure we could do that before. But what you're going to do is look at the ones that you like on the elements tab and then click the three dots and add to a folder, create a new folder, and you might call this one social media hearts, add to new folder. And then you will do that to anything that you like that's within that set. Now, how would you use it? Good question. We're going to go to projects and go to folders and see if it's there. Social media hearts. Here's social media hearts and I can add them directly from there. What if you want more later? You use the same little tip. The three dots, info, view collection, or see more like it. And then you can add from that left panel again. This was great to know if you use elements in your thumbnails, social media posts, or whatever you are doing to create content. However, what if you want to use text in your videos? Watch this next to find the trick that you might need. I'm going to show you a couple of different options. Wait, what, what did I say? 